Hello Judge Forest, you are watching weekly stock market review prepared for you by InstaForex TV channel with me, Tahmina Salomova. On Friday, July 7th, the US stock indices showed up what movements on the back of a bit statistics on the US labor market. The Nasdaq composite rose by 0.45% to 6153.08. Its weekly growth made up 0.2%. The Dow Jones hit the mark of 21,414.34. Throughout the week, 23 out of 30 index companies showed a decline. The shares in Cisco Systems were the worst performer of the previous week. The biggest increase showed Nike shares. Of the week, the index edged up by 0.3%. The Standard & Poor's advanced to 2,425.18. Last trading week, utilities had the largest decrease among the index sector while industrials showed the biggest rise. During the week, the index cited 0.1%. On Friday, it was revealed that the US economy generated 222,000 new vacancies in June. Analysts had projected 174,000 new positions. The unemployment rate inched up to 4.4% from 4.3%, while experts had not predicted any change. However, the earnings growth was slightly below expectations, which undermined the US dollar and supported the Dow Jones. The share price in chipmaker Qualcomm rose by 1% on Friday. On Thursday, the company filed a complaint against Apple to the US International Trade Commission's of a six patent infringements. Welcome asks their watchdog to bear Apple from selling some iPhones and iPads which use these technologies in the United States. The shares in Campbell Soup Company edged higher by 0.2%. The canned soup producers announced its plans to acquire competing company Pacific Foods for $700 million. Campbell Soup stated that the acquisition will be natural to earnings in the first 12 months. You have watched the weekly stock market review on InstaForex TV channel. Goodbye.